Hey guys, a few weeks ago, I released a video on how to install Cloud Commander in Open Media Vault and Docker. So in this video, I thought we would take a look at how to install Double Commander in Open Media Vault and Docker. Okay, so here is the Double Commander website. And what I'm gonna say here is I actually haven't taken the time to, uh, to even test out this software yet uh, in, in Open Media Vault or Docker or anything. I haven't done any of this. So what I've gotta say is I hope that the software works and looks better than the Double Commander website. Um, this isn't great. Maybe it's just a limitation of their hosting or something. I don't know. Um, but uh, I'm hoping that the software works better than their uh, than, than how good their uh, website looks here. So uh, if you want to go and take a look at Double Commander's website, you can do that. A link to that in the blog post that's linked in the description down below. Uh, of course, everything that I talk about in this video will be linked in that blog post. So go ahead and jump down to the description where you can find a link to that blog post. So let's go ahead and close double commander's website here get that out of the way and here we are uh, looking at uh, linux servers uh, hub.docker.com page uh, for double commander so uh, if we scroll down here uh, there's a a bunch of good information on here, uh, including supported architectures. I've had a lot of people ask me to uh, start including whether or not this will work on Raspberry Pi platform or the ARM platform. This one will. Um, you can always go to the hub.docker.com page for any given application. Um, and they should, uh, Linux server is really good about putting the supported architecture in here. Um, but just know that that's a really good place to look. If you're not sure if it will work, you can check there. You can check the GitHub repositories. There's a lot of good information out there if I happen to miss which platforms are supported. So uh, if we scroll down a little further here, uh, we can see that there's a Docker create. Uh, we're gonna skip that. Uh, I like to use stacks. So we're gonna go ahead and use uh, this Docker uh, compose V2 schema to create a stack. So what I'll do is I'll just copy that. We'll jump over to Portainer here. Uh, this should look pretty familiar if you've seen any of my other videos uh, regarding uh, Open Media Vault and Docker, that sort of thing. And of course, the first thing we need to do here in order to make this work is go to stacks and then click on add a stack. Um, and then we can just paste in uh, what we copied from this page over here. And uh, we can just kind of start at the top. And again, as normal, the first seven lines uh, don't really, we don't need to do anything with that. Uh, we do need to change the next three lines here. Uh, that's the PUI. PUID, PGID, and time zone. Uh, if you're not familiar with how to get your PUID, uh, what we need to do is actually grab uh, the ID from the admin account, whatever we're logged in with presently uh, here in Portainer. Uh, I'm logged in as admin. So what I'll do is I'll actually go ahead and open up Putty. And this is always gonna open in the wrong screen. So let's drag this up. And I'm gonna log into my Latte Panda there. And again, let's drag that up. And we're gonna log in as root. And we'll type in the password there. So what, again, what I'm looking for is the ID of, in my case, the admin account. That's the account that I'm logged in with presently. And we can see the UID is 998 and the GID is 100. So we can translate that over to the UID being 998 and the PGID being 100. So pretty, uh, pretty good uh, translation there. Uh, again, for the time zone, I'm in America slash Denver, super close to Denver. So we're gonna use that. Uh, below that, <clears throat> we need to uh, adjust two volumes here. One is gonna be the configuration volume. The other is gonna be the, um, where it stores all of the data that you use. Um, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and first, uh, let's grab uh, our shared folders here over in uh, Open Media Vault. So we can go ahead and just right click here and go to inspect. And then we can double click in there and go to copy. And then we can come back over to here and then paste this in. And then of course we'll want to append that with, uh, oops, double, commander like so and uh then let's go ahead and create a double commander uh volume or our shared volume over here in open media vault so the first thing we'll do is go to shared folders we'll click on add uh we'll go ahead and give this a name of double commander uh we'll go ahead and select the uh the hard drive we want it on and the permissions will be everybody read and write and we'll click save and so we're halfway there what we need to do now is go to smb cifs we'll go ahead and click on that uh, make sure that this is enabled. Uh, so check this so that it's enabled and click save. And then go over to shares, click on add a share. Click the drop down until you find double commander, set public to only guests and click save. So once we've got that, then what we have to do is come up here to click uh, apply. And that will uh, basically save all of those things that we've already saved uh, just in a global scale. So we'll give this a second to do its thing and then we'll come back. 
Okay, so now what we can do is go back to shared folders. Uh, we're gonna right click in here under where it says double commander. If you don't have this absolute path, what you need to do is hover over any of these headers. You'll see a drop down. Uh, you can click the drop down next to any of them. Uh, go to columns and toggle absolute path um, just so that you make sure that you've got this column available. So we'll right click, we'll go to inspect. We're just, oops, we're gonna double click in there and go to copy. And we're gonna just paste this in here. Oops. Like so, so that should be good to go now. Uh, below that, we've got port 3000 is being used for uh, for this container. If you need to change that, make sure to only change the first value here, uh, the external value, whereas the, the second value is the internal value. You'll wanna leave the internal value alone. Um, but once you've got all of this configured, uh, then you can just go ahead and scroll down. Oops, we need to give it a name. What's great about this is you can't click on deploy the stack until you give it a name. So we'll copy that, we'll paste it up there. Uh, and now we can go ahead and deploy the stack. So we'll go ahead and click on that and we'll give it a minute to do its thing, download and extract everything. And uh, then we can go over and take a look. Okay, so now we have uh, deployed that. So what we can do is click on double commander here. Uh, we can see that it's running and that's good. So let's go ahead and look at the logs. Uh, it looks like everything here is good. We maybe want, might wanna give this just a second uh, just to make sure it's not gonna do anything else, but it doesn't look like it will. So I'll just grab this URL here, pop that open in a new tab. We'll change 9,000 to 3,000. And uh, we'll give this a second to load. And ta-da, now uh, we have a full-fledged uh, file manager here where we can uh, go through any of these that we'd like to um, and uh, edit files, manage files, move files, delete files, uh, create new files, whatever we need to do, uh, we can do here. So uh, that's how easy it is to set up double commander in Open Media Vault slash Docker and Portainer. Okay guys, so there you go. There's how to install Double Commander uh, in Open Media Vault slash Docker and Portainer. Uh, if I missed anything, definitely let me know down below. Uh, there's a good chance that there's probably a different volume that I should have mounted uh, to get to the root. If I did, definitely let me know. Uh, if I missed anything, I will go ahead and put that in the blog post that again is linked in the description down below. So uh, definitely uh, check that out as well if you've got questions or, or want to copy down the code that I used in order to deploy this stack. Uh, I think though that pretty much wraps up everything that I wanted to talk about. Uh, however, there are a couple of other things that I wanna add to this. Uh, the first thing is if you found the video helpful and you want to uh, leave a little tip, uh, you can use coffee. There's a link for coffee down below where you can leave a one-time tip to say thanks for the video. Also, uh, I've also got a Patreon set up, so you wanna check that out. There are a few different levels that you can subscribe to there. Uh, the $5 level though will give you access to a members only or a patrons only Discord server. So if you're interested in that, check it out. Uh, I do wanna give a big shout out and thanks to uh, everybody who has become a patron over the last couple of months. Uh, I just I just started doing this recently and uh, several of you have already joined and I wanna say thank you to you guys. I really do appreciate your support. Um, so I think that pretty much wraps up everything. Uh, also, if you like these kinds of videos, don't forget to get subscribed. Uh, I'm releasing new content like this pretty regularly, two to three times a week. So definitely get subscribed if you're interested in that. And if you like this video, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, would help out immensely. Um, but with all that said, as always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.